this video, we will talk about the discussions of netizens why actress Song Hye Kyu and Lee Min Ho did not interact the second time they attended a special event and the reason behind it. But before I proceed, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and please click the notification bell for future updates. As speculated by fans, Song Hye Kyu and Lee Min Ho together attended a big brand event as ambassadors. In the past, the fact that the two sat next to each other at similar events caused an international media explosion. Therefore, they this time, the audience has set expectations to see the two met and stand in the same frame together. Contrary to the wishes of the audience, Song Hye Kyu and Lee Min Ho appeared and took private photos at the event. In social networks, only the moment Song Hye Kyu took pictures with friends and juniors Pak Yun Sek appeared, but did not see the presence of Lee Min Ho. The fact that Song Hye Kyu and Lee Min Ho did not appear next to each other at the event received a lot of discussions from the audience. Accordingly, there is an opinion that they are trying to avoid the other phase so that the media does not spread more malicious rumors. Previously, there were rumors that Song Hye Kyu was dating Lee Min Ho while her ex-husband announced his wedding with his British girlfriend. This more or less put the actors in a dilemma. On the other hand, Actress Song Hye Kyu is currently the subject of rumor that her donation helped a Korean history museum in the Netherlands. Based on her history, it is not surprising. Recently, in a post titled, A Netherlands Building Booth with Song Hye Kyu's Money, a netizen posted on an online community about how the actress allegedly donated to a building in the Netherlands owned by a Korean couple. The couple had acquired and operated the building as the Yi Jin Pi's museum, but they couldn't afford to buy the first floor. Thanks to Song Hye Kyu's donation, however, the couple was able to purchase the first floor. And now the entire building is a memorial hall. The poster also wrote that they searched for articles about this, but none mentioned Song Hye Kyu's kind act. They only talk about other sponsors. The post also included a screenshot of a comment of someone testifying they went to the museum two years ago. And the owners told them about Song Hye Kyu. The original poster also clarified at the bottom of her post that she is not a Song Hye Kyu and that it is not a sales post. However, this rumor is not a surprise. As Song Hye Kyu was recently the narrator for the special Korean Independence Movement Day documentary Grandma is Back. The documentary tells the story of a 96-year-old comfort woman survivor named Lee Young So. Song Hye Kyu supported the comfort woman grandmothers through her narration. In addition, the actress partners with Professor So Kyung Do of Song Shim Women's University every year to promote history by donating Korean language guidebooks, Korean signboards, and historical replicas to many independence movement historic sites overseas.